And then after that, I kind of feel like I was just exploring different sounds. I couldn't find a very specific identity as an artist. And I felt like Winter was that one song that I created that made me realize that, you know what, actually, I started making music because I love it. And it's not so much about trying to fit in or like have other people like me. And I just wanted to keep that intention pure. Hi, Jasmine. Hello. You've got a very distinctive look. How did this start? So in the beginning, I was doing my very first music video and the narrative goes that there's this girl that's going around Haji Lane trying to find a missing person. But the twist was that she was wearing a mask and at the end of the MV, she's supposed to take off the mask to reveal that the person she's trying to find was herself. And then, I have no idea why we had no rationalization or whatsoever. The directors and I just took the last scene out. <laughs> After that video, I thought to myself, hey, actually it's pretty great because I'm very introverted and I want people to know me for my music and my skill as a female producer. Is making music full-time something that you would recommend to budding musicians and singers in Singapore, right? You know what, this is actually a very interesting question. Because if you were to ask me a few years back, I would say no. I would say the most pragmatic advice I used to get when I was young mm. was actually to get a full-time job and then to do music at the side. But then one time, I went for a school trip in New York and then we revisited we musicians and I thought to myself, why is my plan A being a musician and my plan B being a, a corporate work, you know? Mm. It's so vastly different. Yeah. And it almost feels like because I always have that plan B at the back of my head, mm -hmm. I would never give it all for my plan A. I think eventually my point is, if something means so much to you, mm -hmm. you should definitely pursue it despite the odds. So, so.